today's past dinner, uh, we just had a show that 75% of our staff received food poisoning and uh, symptoms of those. Um, I am and a few other people, Dr. King is okay, but um, the tonight's show will be canceled. We're going to schedule it next week. Um, can everyone pull up their phones real quick? And I'll get you guys even a refund even if you still it. Never put your phones. Could you go to my TIU? dot aprilfools dot com
go in a far off place. Lift a handsome prince with a gloomy face, for he did not have a bride. And he sighed, alas, and he pined, alas, but alas, the prince couldn't find a lass who would suit his mother's pride. For a princess is a delicate thing, delicate and dainty as a dragonfly's wing. You can recognize a lady by her elegant hair, but a genuine princess is exceedingly. Came the last the prince had been waiting for. I'm a princess lost, quoth she. The queen was cool and remained aloof. And she said, perhaps, but we'll need some proof. I'll prepare a test and see. I will test it thus, the old queen said. I'll place twenty-nine mattresses. And beneath those twenty mattresses, I'll place one tiny pea. If that pea disturbs her slumber, then a true princess is she. Now the bed was soft and extremely tall, but that dainty lass didn't sleep at all, and she told them so next day. Said the queen, my dear, if you felt that pee, then we prove enough of your royalty. Let the wedding music play. And the people shouted quietly, Hooray! For a princess is a delicate thing. Delicate and dainty as a dragonfly's wing, you can recognize a lady by her elegant hair. But a genuine princess is and a mute king. And the princess in the true story wasn't the only one put to the test. In fact, she was one of 13 girls. Girls who came to the kingdom hoping to wed the prince, but for one reason or another, were found to be unsuitable. As a matter of fact, the day that I arrived at court, they were testing princess number 12. A curious quiz was in progress. Are you ready for the next question? The next question concerns famous rulers. Are you quite ready? Uh -huh. All right. Name three kings. Is that clear? Yes. Is this a trial? No, it's the royalty test to see if she's a true princess. Would you repeat the question, please? Oh, certainly. <laughs> Name three kings. May I take the third king first? Well then, three kings are King John, does it matter if she's a true princess? Oh, yes. If she's a true princess, that means that we can all get married. King Ethelred. That is absolutely correct. Oh, she's so smart, Mama. She's the best one yet. Can I marry her now? Can I? No, sweetheart. There's still one more question. Oh, this test isn't going to be fair. It's the law that isn't fair. Law? The marriage law. Throughout the land, no one may wed till dauntless Dauntless? The prince. Until he gets married, not a, a hand. All right. 
Are you have you? now reached the seventh plateau, and here is your final question. It is divided into four parts and concerns a famous man known as the Knight of the Red Cross. One, what was his name? Two, what beast did he slay? Three, how many rows of teeth did the beast have, and what kind? And four, what was the middle name of the daughter-in-law of the best friend of the blacksmith who forged the sword that killed the beast? <laughs> Could you say that again? Oh. One, St. George. Two, the dragon. Three, 12 rows of teeth, and they were iron. And four, What was the middle name of the daughter-in-law of the best friend of the blacksmith who forged the sword that killed the beast? The middle name. The middle name. The daughter-in-law? In-law. Oh. You have 30 seconds. Oh, pass. <laughs> please, please, pass. Do you speak, my lady? No. Uh, 20 seconds. Oh. I wish her success. Oh, She's a pretty little thing. Uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but your time is up. Oh, too bad, my dear, too bad. You do show a certain aptitude, but as for the true brilliance of royalty, well, I'm afraid not. Remember, blood will tell, and yours didn't tell us quite enough. However, to show that there are no hard feelings, here is a nice consolation prize for you. Goodbye, good luck, and get out. Now, don't dilly-dally, Dauntless. It's nearly time for your cocoa. Oh, I liked her. So did I. Why must every princess get the bird? arrived. I am, Sir Wizard. Now, look here. I have a completely plain piece of parchment. Totally normal, with no holes, concealed pockets, or tears Cardon. of any... Cardamon. I need to take the minstrel to sign in with the castle steward. This way, please. All right. I'm on my way to Normandy. 
I won't be staying long. <laughs> For your father's sake, I put up with a great deal from you. Don't call me Cardamon in court. Your father and I may have done show business together, but don't presume. Sweet Larkin, my new responsibilities as chivalric knight of the Herald keep me busy. The latest princess was a failure. No. Yes. Bad luck, but don't despair, for we have plenty of time. If a true princess is not found within the next few months, I will go out and find one myself, or I don't deserve to wear my spurs. <laughs> oh, uh, darling, do you remember the royal joust on Whit Sunday when you won those spurs? Of course, when my you love. were called the fairest and bravest knight in all the land, and everyone agreed you'd have a brilliant future ahead of you, that you might someday become Lord Chamberlain or even Prime Minister. Well, I don't know about Prime and Minister. And you and I, we had a picnic on the greensward with the lovely cold pheasant. Yes. And we wandered away from the rest to watch the sun go down. Yes, Lord. And the lark was singing in the trees, and you'd said you'd remember this day forever because the lark's song reminded you of my name. Yes, Larkin, yes. And we watched the sun go down. Yes. Well, I'm gonna have a baby. Uh, so you see, a princess for Thomas must be found, and soon, or else I, I shall have to go away somewhere. Oh, Harry, this could ruin you forever, and you'd never be prime minister or anything. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 Harry, just say the word, say the word, and I'll go, I'll go far away, well, they'll never be able to find me. Oh, Harry, just say the word. No, no, you'll stay right here. Why should we both suffer all our lives just because you had a moment of weakness? Oh, Harry. We're none of us perfect. It's going to be all right. Thank you, Harry. It won't be long, it won't be long, it won't because it can't be long before our dreams come true. Because you know I don't belong, and furthermore I shan't belong to anyone but you. In a little while, just a little while, you and I will be one, two, three, four, in a little while, I will see your smile On the face of my son to be forever Hand in glove is the way I have it planned But I'll only stay in love If the glove contains your hand In a moment gown, I'll be coming to How soon, my love? November. November. My time is at a premium. For soon the world will see me a maternal bride to be. I know I mustn't worry, Harry. Still, I'd wish you'd hurry, Harry. Harry, marry me. In a little while, just a little while. face of my son to be forever and in love is the way I have it planned but I'll only stay in love if the glove contains your hand I can see it all down to every small detail so I wish you'd look around
feet, for heaven's sake, and don't squint. I told you not to look at the sun. <coughs> That's better. Sextimus, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred thousand times. I will not have you playing these foolish games and running about in the halls. It just isn't dignified. I mean, we are the rulers of the kingdom, and if we don't set a proper example for the rest of the court, I'd like to know who will. I mean, what is the point of being a ruler if one isn't going to behave as a ruler should? <laughs> Mama. Now what? Uh, Mama, when am I going to get my princess? Dauntless, I don't want to discuss that right now. Uh, but Mama, sometimes I get the funniest feeling that you don't want me to get married. Don't want you to get married? That's what I said. Don't want you to get married? Why, Dauntless? Don't you trust me? Of course, Mama, but well, I... then how can you say? such a thing. Only this morning I was speaking to your father. I said, Sex Miss, it just isn't normal that a boy that age should stay single. I mean, he is the prince after all. Don't forget that. He's next in line to the throne. And I mean, we're not exactly the oldest people in the world. But on the other hand, I know that I just feel much better, much easier, and more relaxed in my mind if I knew that boy were married and settled and set. And that is absolutely verbatim exactly what I said to your father this morning. But of course, he didn't say anything. He never does. But you know him just as well as I do, and I don't have to tell you how impossible he is. That's my cross of pain, and I don't want you to worry your head one tiny bit about the fact that your father and I don't get along and never have. If he makes me miserable and makes me suffer, then I just have to put up with it, and I will not allow it to affect my child's attitude toward him or me. He may be a mean, stupid, dreadful, selfish, rotten man, but he is your father, and I want you to respect him. There is only one person who really cares about your future, and really cares about your health and your happiness and all of those things, and that's what I'm talking about right now. Your future. Future. After all, marriage is a lifetime partnership, and I wouldn't want to see my little boy make the same mistake I did and wind up miserable the way I did. You are a prince, and you must marry someone who's suitable, someone who's good enough and smart enough and fine enough for my good, nice, sweet, beautiful baby boy. And of course, she has to be a real princess. That's the one thing I absolutely insist upon. She has to be a real, genuine, bona fide princess, just as I once was. That's what you really want, isn't it? Someone like me. Of course you do. Oh, if only I were 20 years younger, I... Just remember this. You must trust me. Oh. Your Majesty. Your Highness. Oh, hello, Harry. Don't interrupt. Well, Sir Harry wished this to speak to you. Well? Your Majesty, I have the honor to request a perilous labor. I wish to search for a true princess, a princess of the royal blood, one who will suit both your Majesty and Prince Dauntless. No. Mama! No, no, no! We've been through all of the eligible girls in all the neighboring kingdoms. There are none left. We'll simply have to wait until their little sisters grow up, and that'll take years. Uh, but, uh, madame, I plan to head north, over the mountains. Over the mountains? Across the badlands. Across the badlands. And into the marshland, where the beautiful swamp lily grows. Into the marshland? Are you out of your mind? You won't find anything there but frogs and tadpoles oh. and... Let him, let him go, Mama. Do you know what the weather there is like? Do you know how Mama, damp please. and humid and quiet and humid and oppressive Mama. and all of these things? Let him go for me, Mama, please. All right. You can go. It's your sign. Hooray! Oh. Oh, good luck, Harry. Good luck. <laughs> Don't be afraid, little Larkin. I will find a princess who is not only a real princess, but one who will be able to pass the queen's test. Oh, I'm not afraid. I believe you. And I shan't be away long. Only fly as fast as you can, my love. We shall be waiting for you. We? You know. Uh, and take this. Next to my heart. face of my son to be forever and in glove is the way I have it planned but I'll only stay in love if the glove contains your hand in a velvet gown you'll be coming down the aisle and it's bound to seem as though the waiting's over and a little in a
Sir Harry's perilous journey took three weeks, and the Lady Larkin had all but given up hope that he would find a true princess. One sunny morning in mid-April, when the crocuses had just begun to dot the meadows, the lookout in the North Round Tower spotted two distant figures approaching at full gallop. The alarm was spread. Sir Harry is back. Sir Harry is back with the new princess! Now, how does this part go in the old story? On a stormy night, to the castle door came the last the prince had been waiting for. Of course, that is utterly untrue. <laughs> it hadn't stormed that night at all. In fact, it wasn't even night. And the princess only looked as though she'd come in from a storm. Actually, I swam the moat, but never mind. If I stand right here, I'll be dry in no time. Mama, look, she's all wet. You swam the moat. I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't wait for the drawbridge. You swam the moat? She thinks she would arrive as soon as possible. We had to get a rope and pull her out. <laughs> You swam the moat? <laughs> All right, I was a little anxious. My friend Sir Harry, uh, <laughs> he's still out there. Uh, he told me he had an opening for a princess, any princess, and I figured the early bird. <laughs> anyway, here I am, who's the lucky man? <laughs> hey, Naughty Naughty, is it you? Hey, naughty, naughty, naughty. No, no, no! no. no. <laughs> yes. 
yourself. Okay. Do you ever say anything else except... Do you expect me to believe that you are a true princess of the royal blood? And am I to actually understand that you have the nerve and the gall and the presumption to apply for my son's hand in marriage? Mama, may I say something? No. And do you imagine for even one moment I would consider you suitable for any son of mine? You, my dear, are operating under a very unfortunate misapprehension. My son won't be marrying any moat swimmer. Not while I have breath in my body. And I haven't been well, not well at all. I get these shooting pains all in through here. And don't try to tell me it's the vapors. I know what the vapors are. I've had the vapors. Are you new here? Now, look here. I have a completely plain piece of parchment. No holes, tears, concealed pockets it's of any kind. Ca- no, wait! You're the one, I guess. Sure. I'm Prince Dauntless, the giraffe. Oh, <laughs> well. Glad to have met you. Oh, please don't go. I like you. Everybody does. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, just about everybody. Dauntless? Um, yes. I'd like to stay here, but I wouldn't want to come between you and your mother. <laughs> I guess I'll just face the facts, cut my losses, and head back to the swamps. Oh, but I really like you. Yeah, I do. Wow. You swam the moat. I know. I swam the moat, but I'm not like that. That's not the real me. I'm just actually. Ah! You just again. Lower the property. Are you all right? Sure. Oh, you ought to see her swim, Mama. She's wonderful. Yes, isn't she? Oh, I like her, Mama. She swam the moat. It's cold. Twice. I don't need any help. Can I marry her, Mama? Can I? Marry her? Of course not. When you marry, if you marry, you'll marry a real if. princess. And you'll also marry someone who doesn't... I have the honor to announce the arrival of Her Royal Highness, Princess Winifred! You're a bit late. She's been here and gone. Gone? Yes. That, Sir Harry, is no princess. She's swimming home. Uh, but, uh, your majesty, she is. What? That one? You jest. On mine honor as knight, I swear she is. I have her papers right here. <clears throat> Winifred, princess of Icumkill, guardian of the Midgard serpent, and warden of the Ragnarok marsh lily. The inscription on her family crest reads, uh, Tu ne cere molis. Said contra adiuntor itu. What does that mean? Roughly, Your Majesty, if at first you don't succeed, Never try. Mind. You see, she is a real princess. At least test her. Oh, yes, please, Mama, a test for me, please. All right, we'll test her. The wizard and I will put on our thinking caps and make up a nice, fair test, just as we always do. And I'll prove to you that this girl cannot possibly be a princess. We'll test her for... That's not my leg! How crude. We'll test her for sensitivity. All right. She'll have her test and she'll fail just like all the others. Fair and square. Fail what? Oh, the royalty test. Uh, yes. Uh, every princess suing for my hand must pass a test to prove that she's a real princess. Well, we'll worry about that later. For now, I just want to get out of these wet clothes. Oh, may I show you a part of the castle on the way to a room? Oh, sure. <laughs> you know, you're awfully nice. You're nicer. You're good looking, too. Oh, well, you're better looking and nicer, too. <laughs> well, you're a better swimmer. Oh, no. <laughs> you call me? Oh, you're mad. I'm so excited Sir Harry's back. Yes, he is, and he's brought a beautiful princess with him. Have you seen her? Neither have I, but I'm sure she is as delicate as an orange blossom. And I am to be a, her lady in waiting. Isn't that exciting? Sir Harry arranged it. He arranges everything. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> Expected me to follow in his footsteps. Ah. But then I landed this jester job and. <laughs> Your Majesty? Is something wrong? Y- you're worried? About what? 
Who? A lady? Which lady? Two syllables? Two syllables. First syllable? Uh, a bird, some kind of bird. Yeah? Uh, orc, bluebird, catbird, dove, eagle, finch, grouse, hawk, ibis, k, kiwi, j, lark, martin. Martin? Martin is not the lady's name. Oh, lark, lark. Oh. Who, Lady Larkin? Oui, oui, oui. Lady Larkin and... A knight. Uh, Lady Larkin which, and a knight. Which knight? Sir, Sir Harry! Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Larkin and Sir Harry, okay? Uh, dust? Sounds like dust, we. Oui? Uh, lust. <laughs> Must. Must what? Uh, you're going to start all over again? <sighs> hmm. She's in trouble? What mm. kind of trouble? Big trouble. <laughs> How many souls? She's going to have a baby! Oh. Sacre bleu! Oh, no. This is not good. Does anyone else know? Sir Harry. Uh, of course, but does anyone else know besides Sir Harry? We can keep a secret. The real question is, uh, can you? <laughs> oh, we, we know you can't talk, but you managed to communicate. It's very true. We have only two voices among us, and yet there's a third voice, a voice in disguise. And the others would languish and die. We're like three different people with only one. And the jester and I sing, hey, nonny, nonny, hey, nonny, nonny, hi, diddle, diddle, strike up a tune on the. Now the vision declares our behavior is crude as he piously looks to the sky.
didn't have enough trouble trying to protect my only son from every catchpenny princess that comes along. Now I'm surrounded by spies and traitors. Whom can I trust? Me? No one. And now I have another one of those princesses to cope with. I'm in no mood to sit for hours in this stuffy chamber and rack my brain over a test for that girl when I'm not feeling at all well. But that's the way Dauntless wants it. That's the way it'll be. She'll have her test. Well, her papers do appear to be in order. I know! And the worst of it is, that foolish boy actually seems to like the girl. So you must think of a test that looks fair, and sounds fair, and seems fair, and isn't fair. When you got the idea of testing her for sensitivity, well, I could have applauded right out loud, but exactly what? Table manners? No, not good enough. Hmm, sensitivity. Sensitivity, sensitivity, I'm just loaded with that. In this one word is the epitome of the aristocrat. Sensitive soul and sensitive body, sensitive hands and feet. This is the blessing. Also the curse of being the true elite. Common people don't know what exquisite agony is. Suffered by gentle people like me. Just get your hands off me. Think up a tricky test for that wretched most swimming princess. Madam, may I suggest maybe we ought to... Don't take all night. I'm not well. I need my rest. Not that I ever sleep on that lumpy mattress with this old bed. Oh, I hate to sound grumpy, but my nerves are so chunky. I am sure I can feel any lump, even if it were under the mattress and small as a pea. That's the answer. Under the mattress, we'll test her tonight. One tiny pea beneath one thick downy mattress. Oh my, you bright. Any genuine princess would feel it if she does, and she's through. Get the tiniest pea and order one mattress, no bigger two. Why not five? Ten, I think, would be plenty. Better still make it twenty. And to play it safe in the event, even that's not enough. To ensure that she sleeps, we'll give her a soothing sedative, won't we? You can whip up a dream. But you're devilish. Oh, I love the way you think. She's insensitive, so insensitive she'll fall asleep, no doubt. My, but you're clever, brilliant, a genius. You are divine. Get out. to get into something dry. This old dress is just soaked. Thank you. Ah, oui. The king, the king has asked to meet the young lady. Why, you never asked before. He heard she swam the moat. <laughs> hey, Donald, oh, yes. is, any, is your father anything like your mother? Because if he is... Oh, no, 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 no. My father has a very silent demeanor. Um, I'd love to meet him. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Papa. Papa, this is Princess Winifred. Oh. Hello. Oh. Uh, rolls of red carpet. Uh, ah, Prince, uh, Your Highness, the uh -huh. king has asked me to say that he welcomes you to the palace. And that he hopes you will get a 100% on the test tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. oh, my father never touches his crown to his heart unless he really means it. Very true, madame. Alas, the king is mute, or else he would speak for himself, but he is still under a curse cast by a witch long ago. The curse says, uh, King Sextimus will never talk until the mouse devours the hawk. Until the mouse devours the hawk? We. Oui. Huh. Well, can't you just get a big mouse and a little hawk and we just... We tried that one time, oh. but the mouse got scared and ran away, and the hawk bit daddy. 
Well, let me just get this test under my belt and um, we'll figure it out sometime. Um, it's been a pleasure of meeting His Majesty. A short while ago, I had the pleasure of meeting Her Majesty, if you know what I mean. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, now that is a nice oh, man. No. <laughs> Your Majesty, I think you had better speak to Prince Dauntless very soon about, you know. About what? Your father feels that he's been somewhat neglecting his paternal duty. Now that you're old enough to be thinking about getting married, well, uh, that the two of you ought to have a little chat, you know, man to man. Do you mean about things? Do you mean now? Prince Dauntless, your father asked me to tell you that uh, it might be better to wait until it's just a little bit later because there are a few facts he wants to look up first, a bit of research, you know? Okay. <laughs> Come on, uh, Majesty. I certainly like one. almost both of your parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we want you to be happy here, and we know it's a lot different from what you're used to. It is a lot hard making the adjustment to dry land and everything. Oh. As a matter of fact, I do. You see, back home we didn't have any dry land. Oh, some of the poor people do, but the nobility live all right here in the swamp with their servants and pets. Oh, you have pets? Lots. Dogs? Frogs. <laughs> I come from the land of the foggy, foggy dew. Thank you. 
wear a lot of dark green and earth brown. M my old dress has my favorite color, um, huckleberry. Um, I'll tell you what, you can leave all the dresses here, and the ones that I can't use, I'll send back. Yeah, okay. Anymore. They've already sent up a girl to do the floor. You're new here, aren't you? Yes! Well, I just remember everyone's here to do a job, and your job is just as important as anyone else's. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear, sweet, lovely Princess Winifred, you will pass the Queen's test tomorrow. You will. Oh, for mercy, my dear, you can't possibly clean the floor with flowers. Oh. What is. Oh. You need a good bit red, wet rag. Here, what's this? Oh, that's my huckleberry. Use uh, this. Uh, no. I can't bear to see my royal mistress in such a messy place. Can you, can you know what it means to me to be lady in waiting to the blessed Winifred? Oh, Winifred, Winifred, what name is sweeter than that? Oh, look at this table. It's just a mess. I know. What? I know. I know. I know. through the motions with me. Say, I'm awfully sorry about that, you know, swimming the moat and everything. <laughs> I hope I didn't make a bad impression. Not at all, your highness. And if you'll just give your wet dress to one of the ladies in waiting, she'll see it taken care of. Oh, thank you. It's already been taken care of. <laughs> I see you've met my dear Lady Larkin. Uh, you mean this is the little Larkin girl? The very same, your majesty. Oh, Harry, she's and just a bundle of energy. <laughs> yes. When I gaze upon that captivating face, I, I realize how poor my description must have been. Well, Sir Harry is not very good at describing people. <laughs> well, he may not know how to describe them, but he sure knows how to pick them. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I have to return these dresses, uh, you know, uh, up to the, uh, fourth floor. <laughs> Why is she taking the dresses to the fourth floor? I've never been so humiliated uh, in my life! What's the matter? I thought she was a chambermaid! What? A chambermaid! Larkin, how could you? How could you mistake the princess for I? a chambermaid? How could you mistake that chambermaid for a princess? Don't say such a thing. Just because you made a stupid mistake I doesn't made a mistake. mean, let me finish, that you get to do anything about this. Oh, I made a mistake. Don't you dare blame this on me. I do blame it on you. Well, she was on her hands and knees scrubbing the floor. Well, she's a real lady wherever she was, unlike some people around here. Oh, I hate you. Well, I hate you too. Shut up! Fine, I'm going! Goodbye! 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 After all, you are a wizard. You should be able to think of something to help What's-Her-Name sleep. Don't forget to whip up a sleeping potion and some of that good heavy incense. Bring the hypnotic mirror, too. Wait. The most important thing is that she's tired out first. We'll have an official ball tonight and make what's her name dance until she drops. Now, what can we do? Do you know the Saracen Brawl? No, not tiring enough. I have it! We can do that new dance, the Spanish Paddock. It's absolutely exhausting. Do you know it? Well, it's the rage in Venice. 
Everybody, listen, there's to be an official ball tonight and everyone's to attend. We're all going to do that new dance, the Spanish Paddock, so you may as well learn it now. The basic step is flip your skirts, open, close, right, right, right. It's like the magic step, only forwards, just that simple. Now, suppose you all try it. Ready? Flip your skirts, open, close, right, right, wrong! Doesn't anybody here know the Spanish Paddock? Suppose we all try it now. Prepare, take partners, and it. Don't you just love it? Doesn't it make you want to fly? Woo! is gone. His majesty has ordered supper delivered to his chambers as a diversion. This is the moment when we pull off our daring heist. Heist? Why does the king need to steal from his own kitchen? Nah, her majesty the queen, she strictly limits his majesty's diet to rabbit food, salads, and multivitamin pills. This was simply not to do. The king and I share a deep fondness for croissants. Croissant? I've, I've never had a croissant. 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 Crescent. No, 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 no. Croissant. A creme brulee. You are right. Time is running out. We must act now while the croissants are hot. Uh, here you go. Mm -hmm. Come, your majesty, and you stand guard. Watch closely. I take a perfectly plain piece of parchment. Of You'll see that this parchment has no folds. I've seen that trick a hundred times. Even the wizard doesn't get it right. Uh, um, how about a song? A song? I know. Come on. Surely you have time for one song. No, it's all rock and roll to me. No, that's not going to work. Gonna work. <laughs> this is the best part, though. Look, look, no, look. No, no, no. You have to play that one right. I'm out of here. i got to get to my kids on. This guy. Divine. Divine. These are pretty mm. good. Mm. What do you mm. call them again? Croissants. What? Someone's coming? Uh, the, the queen? Oh, no. Mm. And this has to be the biggest, loudest bowl we've ever had. So, be sure to hire extra musicians for tonight's dancing. And tell the jester that I want him to perform. Not that I'll be able to enjoy any of it with my back and the strange, nagging pain in my jaw. Oh, sweet Hildegard, no one will ever know what I suffer. Close call. Ooh. What was she jabbering about? She's going to make us do something, huh? What? Exercise? I can't do that, nope. Someone else is coming? Who? Oh, I don't know. Why is it so heavy? Oh, I can't believe it. I can't. He said it. He said it didn't work. I think it's all right. Come on, we're clear. Oh, my goodness. Why is it so heavy? Oh. My lady? Oh. Is something wrong? Something the matter? No. Well, we're glad of that anyway. Yeah, well, I was sitting in my room sewing, and I decided to get some fresh air. 
I see you were planning to camp out for quite a while. Oh, oh your majesty, you don't know, you just don't know. Have you any idea what could happen in a relationship between a man and a woman? Oh, I'm glad I found out what I did. It's better this way. I'm leaving. You're leaving? Yes, I'm leaving the service of the queen forever. That's a pretty big step to take all alone, mademoiselle. I have no choice. You're leaving <laughs> forever? Yes. You'll need help, madame. Who would help me? Hi, my lady. What's that? You want to take care of the Lady Larkin. <laughs> Who's going to take care of you? Oh. If you say so, Your Majesty. <laughs> Chivalry demands yeah. that we help, help a damsel in distress. Mm, oui. But she'll have to travel light, the way a man does. Ah, uh, yes. She can go as a boy. <laughs> we will steal one of Prince Dauntless' suits, yeah. no? They're really yours, sure. anyway. Here, we can take these things from you. You may wait in your room. No, you I don't need help from anyone. Over the wall? Yes, I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> oh, she'll, she'll be all right. No. Once she gets past the water rats. Rats? Uh, oh, yes, the, <laughs> the water rats, yes, big and scary. They live near the edges of the stagnant pools, mademoiselle, near the quicksand. Quicksand? Beyond the wall, which you must climb, it's 22 feet, Ooh. and covered with slime, Sorry. and infested with spiders. spiders. All the spiders are sweet, compared to the snakes, snakes. on the other side. Well, they won't hurt you, unless, of course, you plan to go alone. Well, I did, but I didn't know it was so horrible. Thought and come with me. I know all the secret ways to get us free over the hills into the open sea. Then where? It's April, isn't it? April? Normandy is fine and fair. So Normandy is where we'll go.
my dear, are you feeling a little weary? No, let's do it again! <laughs> oh, Dallas, uh, Dallas? Yes? Uh, could you give me a clue? A clue? To the test. Oh, with Mama thinking up the test, it could be almost anything. Like what? Sometimes it's history. Oh. Sometimes it's dancing. Sometimes it's... Spelling? Um, oh, but one time, it was a test of strength and endurance! Oh, yeah! Uh, this girl, she had to lift this weight, okay. but she couldn't do it. Oh. Um, okay, hmm. let's give this a try. Okay. Uh, 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 I can't even do it, <laughs> but I know you'll pass. You don't have to worry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you want me to pass? Uh-huh. I'll pass. One second. Ready? Oh, all right. All right, come on. Come on, all you, I wait. Yeah, you didn't think I could be able to do it, huh? Mm. Hey, I think you're wonderful. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I ever told you. My full name is Winifred the Wobegon, but you can call me by my nickname because it's way too formal. Winnie? Fred. Fred. What a beautiful name. So straight, so strong, so, so you. I like you, Fred. I like you. You were just saying those words to be kind. No, I mean it. I like, I mean, I love you, Fred. He is out of his medieval mind. I'm perfectly sane and sound. I've never felt better in my life. Everybody, 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 come and meet my incipient wife. I'm in love with a girl named Fred. My reasons must be clear. When she shows you all how strong she is, you'll stand right up and cheer. She drinks just like a lord, so come sing a merry drinking song and let the wine be poured. It's all too overflowing, raise the alpha tie. Death and heart, I'm in love with a girl named Fred. She sings just like a bird. You'll be left with people speechless when her gentle voice is heard.
and gives us courage to continue. You are hereby reminded of our few simple, reasonable laws. Be not idolaters. Make no visual or audio images of the performance. Let no unnatural sounds be heard. <laughs> Silence those makers of buzzes, squeals, screams, and of the like. The queen insists on quiet. Right. 
kettle of fish. Now, you wretch, I want the truth. What's going on around here? What's all this noise all about? Every time I turn my back, something outrageous is always going on in the corridors. Oh, never mind, me. The Queen! Stop! Now I want the truth, you wretch! What's going on here? What are you up to? What? What's going on here? What's under the mattress? It's a dead body. Pull that way! What are you doing? Explain yourself! <laughs> it's just a joke, Your Majesty. Uh, this boy and I, we, uh, go outside. Uh, wait for me. Uh, Lancelot. Lancelot? Wait! Lady Logan. Take these things up to what's her name's chamber, mattresses, too. Wait, Your Majesty. Quiet! What are you doing in that ridiculous get up? Well, uh, Silence! And why weren't you at the ball at tonight? Uh, your Majesty. Shut up. Oh. And what are you doing with this man? I have well, speak up. I can explain. I... You are running away, is that it? You were running away. Marken! Why, you low-born, ungrateful little sneak! Is this the thanks I get for treating you as my own daughter? One of my girls running off with a musician! Uh, your Majesty, the Lady Larkin is innocent. I'll tell you the truth. I forced her to leave against her will. Shut Why, you low! Larkin, what are you doing with that man? What are you doing with that woman? Uh, Just you a moment! Go to your room! Don't tell me what to do, you libertine! Uh, Lady Larkin, May I remind you that you are still one of my ladies in waiting? Get above stairs where you belong and prepare what's her name for bed. Do as I say. And may I remind you, Sir Harry, that you are still one of my knights. Step forward. Sir Harry, I hereby banish this minstrel from my kingdom and I want him out of here by daybreak. Sextimus, go to bed. I don't want you groping about in the dark all night. And the rest of you, listen very closely. There is a little girl upstairs who is dog tired. Oh no, she said she was gonna study for her test. All right, let her study. But when she's done, I want quiet around here. Is that clear? I want quiet, and I'm going to get quiet if I have to shut the palace down. <laughs> quiet! Some. Some. S U M. Some. Summer. Summer. Um. S U M E R. Summer. Very good. Yes. Well, if Mama decides to test you in literature or spelling, you are sure to pass. Yes. All I lose now is history. Ah, history. Mm. Oh, that takes in quite a lot, but let's give it a whirl. Yes. <sighs> ah, the first chapter is called The Bravery of Prince Waldair. Hmm. Young Waldair, wishing to slay the dragon Fafner, Fafner, takes his father's sword, Minning. Disguised hmm. as the West Wind, he goes into the forest, surprises Fafner in his lair, and slays him, <gasps> whereupon he is unable to understand the speech of birds. Oh, okay. That's Meanwhile, fair. Waldair's father, Alberic, disguised as the sacred goat, Tells him that the spirit of Dunther. 
Did you ring for a page boy? No. Nope. <laughs> oh. Uh, you've got the wrong room, son. <laughs> oh, oh are, aren't you Larkin? Yes, you're in Oh, what's the matter? I... I uh, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of, just kind of funny, but I have a suit that looks just like that one. I was running away, your, your highness. Oh. oh, well, come, come sit down. Dauntless, pull up a chair. But oh. her, the queen... She... Never mind what the queen has ordered. Come sit. Come on. <laughs> Come sit, you too. <sighs> now, what's the matter? I'll just go out on the parapet and stand all there lonely and catch a cold and die. Oh. That'll show him. Show him what? He'll be sorry. Who? Horrible Harry. You mean big, nice Harry? Now, just a minute. What did you do to him? Yeah. What did I what do, did to him? do to him? Well, you're talking the way I once did when I was afraid to go home when I gave my brother a bloody lip. <sighs> it was an accident. <laughs> well, we had a little disagreement. Oh, so you decided to run away? Well, he said some perfectly horrible things to me. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, in that case, I guess you were right. The only thing you can do is pack up your things and get out. Unless you go to him and say you're sorry? No. Oh, listen. That Harry is a wonderful boy, and he loves you very much. Very much. Why, we were on the road for two weeks, and he never laid a finger on me. Oh, your highness. <gasps> Why don't you get into something pretty that shows you're a girl and patch things up with him? Oh, well, oh, dear, dear, sweet Princess Winifred, how will I ever thank you? Oh. <laughs> if it's a girl, I'm going to name her Fred. Oh. What if it's a boy? Dauntless, it's time for bread. Um, oh, okay. And leave the history book, please. Oh, well, I'm positive you're going to pass Mama's test tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. If you don't, I'll understand. Oh. <laughs> oh. And so, the young prince, Waldair, having slain the dragon Fafner, no, met his horse Frigga, uh, Princess Frigga, you know what? And they all lived happily ever after. Well, I'm glad.
Rapunzel had platinum tresses that were double the length of her dresses. But she was kept in the tower for years by a wicked old witch. your spurs, you think. This man is charged with attempting to transport a young woman out of kingdom against her will. Now that is a serious offense. He didn't do it. This is a frame up. You've got it all wrong. Sir Harry, you've got it all wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was protecting the Lady Larkin. He was protecting her, not kidnapping her. <laughs> and you keep out of this, your majesty. Hmm? Sir Harry, I can't leave yet. There's someone I have to see. Who? The wizard. I want your permission to go see the wizard. Yes, 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 yes. No, permission denied. Oh Let's go. My God. Ah. Sir Harry, you're a fathead. Uh, yes, you are a fathead. He's trying to help you, fathead. We are all trying to help you, fathead. How can you help? By finding I, out. Huh? By finding out what the test is from the wizard. We. Oui. That's cheating. Sacre bleu, don't you understand? Sacre bleu, this is for you and for Lady Larkin. Hmm? Sir Harry, please just let me go to the wizard. No. If anyone should defy the wizard's magic, I should. Oh, now we've got him, the pompous, arrogant imbecile. Ah, you must stand guard. This is my job, talking to the wizard. Hey, no, 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 no. You might get hurt, even if he is an old man with a stick. You can't come, and that is final. The king mustn't come with us. If nothing else, I agree with you on this. I'll get rid of him, don't worry. Your Majesty. Prince Dauntless is ready now to have that little personal talk with you. Uh, some other time. Prince Dauntless, your father has asked me to say that he wants to have that little personal talk with you now. Oh. It is very important. It is. Yes, it cannot be put off. Do your duty, sire. Hmm? Uh, what do you want to talk about, Papa? What, what do you want to tell me? Stop. Look. And listen. Okay. Stop and look at this. Um, Prince? Uh, child? What? Um, oh, boy. Flower.
baby flower grow up and why? Oh, tell me why. Oh, father, tell me, tell me, father, don't be shy. Boy flower, girl flower, love each other. Boy flower, father, girl flower, mother, yes, yes, but how? It's very interesting, but how? Oh, tell me now! Oh, uh, uh, beep, beep. On boy flower. Boy flower dust gets on beep. Beep flies to girl flower. Dust touches girl flower. It's very interesting, but still not clear to me. Woman is like girl flower. Man is like bee. And like boy flower. Man, that's me. <laughs> but tell me more. I've got to know about what getting married is for. Sounds like Carrie. Mary. <laughs> Man, woman, get married. With a friend. Love each other. One night. Yes, yes, one night. It's very interesting what happens in the night. What happens? What happens? Oh, Father, tell me, please. Shall I go and pick some flowers? Shall I go and catch some bees? Wait a friend. And I will get married. And one night, one night, what happens, Father, please? I'm begging you. What? No, stork. Stork will bring us a baby. Father, I know all about the stork. Mama told me about that years ago. No, wait a minute, Father. Flower seed, man, woman, bee, baby, small. It isn't the stork, it isn't the stork, it isn't the stork at all. All oh, life is grand. It's very interesting. I think I understand. I think, I think I know it's very interesting. Thank you, Father. And Father, I love you so. <clears throat> Pardon, Sir Wizard, our friend, the minstrel, is a great admirer of yours. And no soft soap, if you please. This is not soft soap. And I wouldn't even say anything except for the fact that, well, I've been banished. And sir, I hope this won't embarrass you. But before I go, I wanted to tell you what a great artist I think you are. Cardamon. Cardamon. Don't call me by that name. I use that name with honor, sir. I'll never forget seeing your command performance at Glastonbury in 92. What a show, what a triumph. You took seven curtain calls. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Say, do you happen to remember a little boy that sat in the second row and stood and yelled out, bravo, that night? Yes. I was that boy. I can't believe it. <laughs> of course, now, I'm in show business, too. And, sir, if it's any interest to you, it was your influence that brought this about. You must belong to the guild. Caw -caw! <laughs>
Camelot Local 714. <laughs> to think that someone remembers those days. Well, I just wanted you to know what that performance meant to me. I'd better be going now. Uh, no, minstrel, wait a moment. Here, for you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, come, stay a while. No, the queen wouldn't like it if I was still here. Ah, uh, forget about her. This is between us. Besides, I'm sure you're busy working on that test for ah, tomorrow. <laughs> the test is all taken care of. Say, you wouldn't be able to tell an old guild brother what it is. Um, I'm sort of under oath. Ah, I understand. Well, I'd better be going. Uh, no, minstrel, wait. May I borrow your handkerchief? What handkerchief? Cardamon the Great. <laughs> I bet you'll never guess what the test is about. Astronomy. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll never guess. Sensitivity. Oh. Sensitivity? <laughs> Did you hear? Cardamon the Great! Cardamon the Greatest! <laughs> now, here, let me tell you the rest. Oh. No, I better not. I'll go, I'll go. But may I have uh, one favor before I do, Cardamon? May I have this? What do you want with that? Yeah, a little memento of the good old days. Because of my father, you know? Nah, keep it. Merci. Oh, and just a... Oh. Thank you, sir. Au revoir. That was an awfully nice thing you did for that boy, Cardamon. Well, for his father's sake. Ah, oh, yes. Say, I don't have to actually get out of here until daybreak. Uh, why don't we go down to the wine cellar, split open a bottle, and talk a while about, uh, well, just talk a while. Well, yeah, fine, fine. But uh, I am in the middle of something here. So why don't you go along and I'll catch up to you in two seconds. I'll be waiting.
I'm out to practice, okay? And I was never my father. But when he took his bow to the crown and the crown, the crown went crazy and the house came down when daddy wore his very soft shoes.
should do it. And one small pea that I had to bring all the way up from the pantry, all the way up the most killing set of stairs in the kingdom. All right, you can come in now. Did you remember everything? The hypnotic mirror? Yes, Jess. And the rest of the things? Yes. And the girl, well, it's the girl. Doesn't she know it's dog? Uh, it's much too late for her to be up still. Oh, it's you. Yes. Come on now. You should be getting into bed. You want to be fresh for your trip back to your kingdom tomorrow oh. morning, don't you? Bring the hypnotic mirror. And the incantation, the wizard said it would be written right on the wrapper. Here you go, Your Majesty. Very good. Now. Silken swishing sibilance wraps us in a gentle trance. Deep in Morpheus's arms we lie. Off we go to Betty by. I've got a star right here. <laughs> Poppy and Mandragora incense. Hmm. And the incantation. <laughs> Drowsy hmm. incense, sweet aroma wraps us in a gentle coma. Murmuring voices seem to say, Mr. Sandman's on his way. Mm. There, now you ought to get a good night's rest. I wish I could say the same for myself. The sleeping giant. That's right. A little extract of opium with warm milk before going to bed. That's what I always say. Drink it down. <laughs> There, now you ought to get a good night's rest. And to be sure that you have no trouble drifting off, I've prepared a special treat for you. Bring on the nightingale of Samarkand. Hmm. Who has the nightingale of Samarkand? Naturally, I have to do everything myself. Now sing! Ah! Stop! You were brought here to put a live princess to sleep, not to wake a dead one. Let's have a lullaby, birdie, nice and soft.
Let Mother fix it. Oh, I can dress myself, thank you very much. Well, far be it from me to interfere, precious. I told you I can do it! Why are you wearing that so early in the morning, anyway? Well, today's the test, Mama, and I want to look my best for my incipient <laughs> wife. <laughs> the test? Why, the test is all over, sweetheart. What do you mean? The test is over, darling boy. What? When was it? What was it? Oh, well, it was last night. We put it to bed on 20 soft, downy mattresses with a pea under the bottom one to test her sensitivity. And, of course, the pea would have kept a real princess awake. And she slept? Oh, well, darling, I'm sure I don't know, but she was practically falling asleep when she got into bed last night and yawning like a vulgar scullery maid. I mean, she looked ghastly, darling, and nearly old enough to be your... Uh, well... We'll see. Oh. oh, Fred, no! I can't help it. I feel nervous. I can die. I have to die. Control yourself. We'll be here in a minute. If she didn't pass, I might have a different feeling. Don't talk. Here comes the queen. And someday, dear, we'll find a true princess for you, so don't worry. Oh! Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Majesty. All here to see the princess on her way. Since she's such a favorite of ours, I have decided that she should have an extra special consolation prize, Sir Studley. Here, Your Majesty, a most oh. Charming. How oh. dare you? Do this. Oh. And where is our little slug bed? She should be getting an early start. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, here she is now. She isn't even dressed yet. She must have slept like a baby. 37,428. 37,428 what? Sheep. <laughs> what did you guys fill your mattresses with? Jousing equipment. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't sleep. Those mattresses ought to be sent to the torture chamber. You didn't sleep. I never shut my You've passed! What? You've passed the test! Mama put a pee under 20 mattresses, and you felt it. And now we can be married! <laughs> a pee under 20 mattresses? No wonder I'm black and blue! Oh. Now you do me, she's pretty. up to you. Um, uh, you can find the castle. Uh, I have a feeling we don't want to be living with the in-laws. <laughs> well, she's going to get cold sleeping like that. I'd better take her up to her room. Dauntless, wait. What should I wait for, Mama? To give this matter proper consideration. Oh, she passed the test, and now I have to take her up to our room. Now, you listen to your mother. Throughout this heartbreaking experience of trying to find a true princess, I have never nagged. Never interfered and never expected one solitary word of sympathy. Shh, she's asleep. But I will not stand by and watch you throw yourself away on this little nobody. Mama, quiet. I mean, she may have passed the test, but I've never trusted anyone who had those shifty eyes. I like told you to shut up! It happened in the castle. Oh, 
The prophecy is true. The mouse devoured the hawk. Look, look. Queen, she can't talk. I, I, what? I, I can. <laughs> Hawk. Oh, yeah, Hawk. Hawk.